Hi and welcome back. This is the 19th installment in the Mouse House series and I am making Miss Mouse a few hats to wear. So let's get started. Cut a piece of fabric for your hat a little bigger than you think you need. You'll be able to trim it down later. Dip the fabric into a mix of white glue and water, squeeze out the excess and tie it down over the top of something like a nail polish bottle. Use yarn, string or even a rubber band to hold it down. This shapes the crown part of the hat. Repeat the process for however many hats you want to make and leave them to dry before taking them off. Now they're dry, remove the hats from the bottle tops and they'll be fairly stiff. Then using the water and glue mix, brush it onto the brim area only of the hats. This will soften them and allow you to shape them and then you can dry them flat. Use the brush to gently press out the brim, creating the shape you want. I'm using a silicone mat to work on, but if you don't have one, wax paper will probably do the job just fine. I was losing the shape of the crown in the hat so I tried to tie them up again and I held it in place with pins until they dried. If you're new to this channel, click subscribe so you don't miss any new uploads. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and don't forget to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Now they're all dry and the pins are removed, let's work some more on shaping them. The blue fabric was kind of thin so I decided to reinforce the crown with a liner made of card. This will help it hold shape over time.
trim the brim, <laughs> that rhymes, down to the size that you want. For the blue hat, I had a vision of a fancy lady's hat, the kind you see at the Ascot races. So I cut some tulle or netting in the same shape as the brim of the hat to add as a fancy sort of underlayer. As you can see, I'm just making it up here as I go along. Professional hat makers won't be threatened by my skills in the slightest. Here I am attempting to glue the chill to the brim, but it's not long before I realise that that's not going to work at all. Using tacky glue, I added a trim to the edge of the brim on the linen sun hat. For the felt hat, I glued some lace trim inside the upturned brim. A toothpick was really useful here for poking the lace into place. See here I folded up a scrap of chill to use as a decoration for the felt hat as well as a few tiny leaves I pulled off a Christmas garland. I stitched them into place because I wasn't sure glue was going to hold them. Back to the linen hat, I wanted to add a trim of some sort around the crown and decided on a narrow blue velvet ribbon, which I glued into place with the tacky glue and pinned it down until the glue dried. Thank you. 
what happened to the tacky glue here that I used on the brim, but it dried white for some reason when it normally dries clear. So if anyone knows what happened, please let me know below in the comments. But anyway, I decided to sew the tool to the brim to secure it. for the detailing. I soaked a piece of pretty floral material in the glue and water mix and wrapped it around the crown. Pinned it in place until it dried. You know the drill by now. And here's the final reveal. They look perfect hanging up on the coat rack I just made. My next video is out in two weeks. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!